What is up YouTube, Fluttershot RLC, and you guys didn't see, but we did some pack opening and upgraded our team. We're an 81 overall. So first, the quarterback is Derek Carr. We also got Jameis Winston. He has 82 speed, 97 throw power, 81 throw accuracy short, 83 throw accuracy mid, 67 throw accuracy deep, which is horrendous. Um, so that's why I'm thinking about maybe getting Jameis, but I don't throw deep that often, but pretty good play action, really good throw on the run. And also our first elite, which you guys saw in the last pack opening, John Kuhn. He was our very first leak that we pulled a pretty good option um you know probably gonna sell him eventually I i'm gonna wait till the game comes out though uh before i start selling some stuff and we also we got giovanni bernard which i believe you guys saw we also got frank gore and cj 2k and hopefully i'm gonna bring him in for his speed um you know i got frank gore for his power giovanni bernard because he's pretty much awesome at everything right now and we also golden tate you guys saw we also got mike wallace steve smith senior Julian Edelman, and we also got Tavon Austin, who's got 95 speed. That's insane. This dude is got wheels. So we got him. The line pretty much has not changed uh, much. Uh, we did get Brian De Lu Puente. <laughs> I don't even know. But on the defense, boom, we got Junior Galette, which surprisingly, if you look at uh, um, uh, if you look at Ahmad Brooks, Ahmad Brooks is better than him, and Ahmad Brooks is a 76 overall, and he's better than Junior Galette, who's an elite. Yep, that's how bad of an elite Junior Galette is, but we moved him over to the right side. We also got Brandon Marshall, middle linebacker. We, we needed to upgrade the middle linebacker position a little bit, so that's what we did. We also got Reggie Nelson, and also we got, oops, I'm messing up. We got Geno Atkins, another elite. So we got three elites already on our team. Look at this guy. This dude's got some mean skills, man. 84 block shed, 93 power move. Uh, very, very good card. We still got um this guy in there because he's got 92 block shed. That's insane. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So we're into the game, and my opponents got Ryan Kerrigan, Sheldon Richardson, and Lawrence Timmons. Man, so he's got some pretty good threats over there on the defense now i've noticed that you know in the packs that i've opened and even in the people that i've faced it's a lot easier a lot more common to pull defensive elites i don't know why and they're also the cheapest ones on the auction block so if you're a defensive minded person um once the game comes out you might want to you know try to get some coins because i mean i think i sold i eventually sold my um junior glet only for like 15k so already um like the lower overall defensive elites are ca actually kind of going for cheaper so just keep that in mind you guys once the game drops tomorrow um i would start grinding some solos and actually um the journey solos guarantee you an elite now you can't um you can't auction it or trade it but it still guarantees you an elite so i would go out and i would knock out those solos once the game comes out now this is my only problem with mutt now before i start talking about the game it, the game like you have to grind more than you can actually play like you know there's a lot more grinding than actually playing you know if you're a person that you can't spend tons of money on packs and you got to grind and you know i kind of wish it wasn't really that way you know i wish it was maybe a little bit more easier to get you know like a fairly higher overall team but that's just me personally so now let's get into the game we're throwing a nice screen pass here to giovanni bernard and bernard almost getting free there so this can bring up a second down to nine only a one yard gain thought it was more now we got Derek carr at quarterback he's not the um he's not the future of our team but you know for right now he's the best we got we're gonna be searching around on the auction block a little bit see who we can grab of course i want to get maybe uh, like a tom brady style quarterback you guys know me if you watched uh, any of my 15 uh stuff near the end i really did like using um tom brady and just how accurate he was and he would just always put the ball right on point that's something that i had see look like just overthrowing easy passes true i was kind of throwing off my back foot a little bit but still man come on i mean you know, those are passes that you know i should be making easily and with a quarterback like Derek carr can't really do that so now we try to run a little bit of re read option here maybe not a good idea now this game was a little bit laggy so i apologize for the lag guys but hey we're just gonna have to deal with it a little bit so right now Derek carr we're trying to find some open room and carr has got a first down on third and six that was crucial man we're, we're this is a long drive and this is a very long drive but giovanni bernard like i got you and he's gonna get into the end zone do a little dance and um you know when you have really long drives like that you better make sure you come away with a touchdown because I, I've seen so many people, they put together a long drive, like a drive that took like five minutes and they don't come up with anything, you know, they come up with like a field goal or they turn the ball over. So if you're going to put together a long drive like that, you better make sure you finish it off with a, t with a touchdown. So now my opponent, 
He's got Teddy Bridgewater, Justin Forsett is my opponent. He's got a pretty good team too. I've not, I've yet to face someone that had like an absolute starter team. Like I've faced some people that they've had some elites, they've had some good players. So this guy, his team, it looks like it's fairly on par to mine. But uh, you know what, man? Hopefully, just our skill will come out and show. Even though I suck at this game, but um, and he comes out in a fake punt. I don't know why. I mean, I true. You know, it's the beginning of the game. You know, I mean, you don't want to have to try too hard. You kind of want to maybe like experiment, and that's mainly what I've been doing lately. Like, I don't care. Like, see, look right here. I'm doing a flea fl flicker. Maybe not the best idea. And Tate had the ball, but it's knocked out of his hand. Man, a flea flicker. You know, I'm just, I'm just experimenting a little. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've lost a lot of games. I've, you know, I haven't been playing a lot of mutt. Look at that. That's a nice pick right there. And um, you know, if you guys watch Toke. Uh, Toke's video, I think against TD Present, maybe. Um, there was a play where it was tipped and he still picked it off. So in this game, the, the, the play is never over until the ball hits the ground. So just keep that in mind, guys. But uh, as I was saying, if I can remember what I was saying... <laughs> Um, I've, you know, I've been playing a lot of draft champions, and as we get the nice pick right there with uh, Casey Hayward, I've lost a lot of games, you know, mainly because I've been trying out a lot of new things, you know, in this game, you know, early in the game, I really could care less if I win or lose, I'm just trying to get a feel uh, of the game, trying new things, and right there, it lags so bad, I, I don't know if I would have been able to get that catch or not, but it lags so bad that he gets the ball right back, so again, Norman's got two picks now, that, that's not how we want to start off this game, we're keeping this guy in the game, even though maybe... We should be ahead by three touchdowns already, but instead we're keeping him in the game, almost going into half, and that one, oh, almost picked off again, man. In this game, it's a, it's definitely a lot easier because you saw that pick I got with Case Hayward. He practically, like, glitched over to get the ball, so it's, you know, stuff like that. Right there, almost catch the ball, but it's knocked out of his hands. That's going to run about fourth down. Is he going to go for it? No, he's not. He's going to punt the ball away to us, and everyone's doing these, like, ass horrible, like, everyone's doing these kicks already, and, uh, I mean, I guess it works sometimes, but I mean, just I've seen everyone do that, and we're gonna try to lob it up. Golden Tate, and again, Tate had it in his hand, but it's dropped. So with five seconds left, we decide we're just gonna we're just gonna run the ball, try to run the clock out. So now we get ball at half. So we gotta do something. We gotta score. It should not be seven to nothing. Man. We should have a much higher score than this. But we're keeping this guy in the game by our dumb decisions and I guess the lag a little bit so we're still we're trying to get Giovanni Bernard going man I'm telling you Giovanni Bernard he's a very solid solid player and look at Steve Smith look at Steve Smith and he's gone man look at Steve Smith senior he is a beast man that guy he just makes plays and he's scoring the big touchdown right there on third down and we're taking the 14 to 0 lead man that's what we with that's what we needed because I did not want to keep this guy in the game we really needed that to, you know kind of put this guy out of the game a little bit because he hasn't really moved the ball that well in this game if you guys haven't been able to tell Teddy Bridgewater hasn't exactly been on point today again trying to run up four set but that's going to bring up a third down and eight he needs this first down or else this game could be over and he's going to just drop it I don't know how he dropped that catch now you see a lot of animations like that he's going to go for he's going to go with the screen play for some odd reason and we get him in the backfield and that's going to be a turnover on down. So now we get the ball back, second down and eight. And look at this. Again, man, off my back foot or whatever. Very inaccurate throw. Carr is not an accurate quarterback at all, and that's what really sucks right here. Wide, X is wide open, but again, Carr overthrows it. So Carr is definitely going to be gone. And right here, I, I, I call a fake field goal, and I totally forgot that. Well, I mean, it wasn't an extra point. I knew you could take it back. but So he takes it back after I try to call a fake field goal for whatever reason so he's suddenly right back in this game i'm being stupid out here you guys i need someone to like be in the party with me and be like fluttershy don't do dumb stuff all right because i always do dumb things like that try you know i guess i was being a little bit too cocky but i have confidence in my team this guy has not really impressed me at all and oh god this lag is horrible and it's weird because like i feel like the lag was only when i was on offense i'm not quite sure but Hey, man, whatever. Look at this Giovanni Bernard, little Gio getting going, man. I haven't been using, um, I have not been using Frank Gore or Chris Johnson much this game. I probably should be as Vince Wilfork eats up Derek Carr for a sack. Um, so second down and 17, bad spot. We're going to try to run a little bit of screen here. Look at this. We got Giovanni Bernard again. And Bernard, look at that. Nice spin move, nice pancake. And that's going to, you know, third down and ma third down and manageable, third down and nine. We're just going to lob it. And look at this, Mike Wallace. And he's got the speed. No one's going to catch up to him. Mike Wallace, the 49-yard dot for the touchdown. And that might just put this game away. I don't know. 21-7 to late here in the fourth. He has not scored a single point on offense 
Uh, so this could be game right here. Derek Carr out the pocket, and he finds a wide open receiver right there, and just kind of just, uh, you know, played um, into our zone a little bit. Just was able to find the open guy. Our, our pass rush is not getting there at all. And look at this prime example of the ball is never, the play is never over until the ball hits the ground, and Werner sacrifices his body for the pick and gets us the ball and look at this look at Tyler Eifer and Eifer getting us down to the 17 this is such good position right here we're gonna get handed off to Giovanni Bernard little Gio he's gonna get a nice run of about six or seven on the play but we're set with a third down and one and almost picked off a dangerous pass but with less than a minute to go we decided to go for it get Chris Johnson in the game a little bit but we're stuffed short fourth down so we turn the ball back over but I'm not concerned he has 50 seconds to score two touchdowns I don't really think that's going to happen so we're going to get out with another win 2-0 to start the Mutt season and um, starting Tuesday I'm going to be starting to go hard with Mutt and we're going to try to see if we can't get to the Super Bowl on our first season it's going to be hard because I'm still trying to get used to this game this game is a lot different um, you know so I'm still trying to kind of get used to this game a little bit but that's going to be it so I hope you guys enjoyed this Madden 16 Ultimate Team game now I want you guys to tell me now I've in my opinion draft champions is a lot more fun now do you guys want to see more draft champions or do you guys want to see more mutt or do you guys want to see more online games tell me what you guys want me to post more content of I'm still going to post all three but uh, tell me what you guys think my f main focus should be on and you know I'll listen to you guys because without y you guys I you know I wouldn't really be doing I wouldn't really be doing this you know it's it's you guys it's the fans that make the youtuber in my opinion so you know so just tell me down below what you guys want to see from me and I hope you guys enjoy it. and also if for anyone that's getting Madden 16 on the Xbox one on Tuesday man hit me up and I'm uh, and in all honesty, I'll play games with you guys all day Tuesday once I get home from uh, once I get home from school. So you know, man, Madden 16 Tuesday, you know, um, on the Xbox One. If you want to play with me, just send me a message, and I'd love to play with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, Fluttershy. Peace out, and have a great day. And I'll see you guys on the next one.